everyone, and welcome to Consciousness is Sexy. I am your host, Patty Alfonso. What grand and glorious adventure can we create today? Thank you so much for joining me live. Our topic today is unlocking the wisdom of your feminine body. Now, there's a few things that I want to share with you here in our time together, but just to make sure that we're all on the same page, I'm going to go with a couple of basics. Number one, your being does not have a gender. You as a being, whether you want to refer to yourself as a soul or a spirit or whatever word works for you in that, you as a being do not actually have gender. Your body, on the other hand, has a gender. You either have a female body or a male body. And nowadays, even that is out of definition because now we have all kinds of other classifications, gender neutral, and all kinds of other things that I can't even mention because I'm so not up <laughs> in that vernacular. But for the sake of this show, there are female bodies and there are male bodies. And then there's you as a being. Now, a lot of the world talks about energy as, you know, this is feminine energy or this is masculine energy. This is a girl thing to do. This is a boy thing to do. And again, for the purposes of this show and to make sure that we are all on the same page, that is not where I am coming from. Energy is energy. Energy doesn't have gender. Energy is just energy. The only thing that has gender is your body. And yes, male bodies also have a genius that can be unlocked. But for today, we're just going to play with the feminine body. Um, ah, what is that? What would that be like to unlock the genius of your feminine body? As a lot of you may or may not know, and I'm going to tell you anyway, um, I have, I love pole dancing and I have a, a creation called Pole Dancing for Consciousness where I use the pole as a tool to empower my clients to unlock their feminine body. And lately over the last four months, I've spent a lot of time in the pole dancing studio diving into my own journey with this particular topic. And what I have been learning and finding about unlocking that energy from your body is, oh my gosh, beyond anything that I could have imagined. And that's what I wanted to share with you in today's show. One of the ways that you can unlock the genius of your body and the genius of your feminine body is through movement. Now, I'm not talking about just any kind of movement. <laughs> I'm talking about really, truly moving with consciousness and with awareness. Yes, going out to a club and dancing and all of that is fantastic and phenomenal. And that is definitely one way to move your body. Running is another way to move your body. Um, hiking, dancing, cycling. There are so many different ways that you can move your body. But what I want to invite you to is to, to move with your body, to allow your body to move you. And so when I say, hey, turn on a piece of music and just shake your body and move your body and see what shows up, I'm actually inviting you to quiet the mind as best as you can, get really present with your body and move not just in the normal way that you would normally move your body, but in a totally completely different way. What would that look like? Um, paying attention to the parts of your body that actually aren't moving and bringing movement into that part of your body. 
for example, for me personally, I, I tend to have a lot of tension on my um, shoulders and my upper back and my neck. So when I'm moving, I'm really paying attention to that area of my body, making sure that there is movement in that area. Um, sometimes when I, when I do hip circles, there's a couple of spots that I kind of get a little bit stuck and they're not fluid in their movement. So in that moment, I slow down and I pay attention to my body and I, and I invite movement into that particular part of my body. You know, if you're, if you're moving in the same patterned kind of way, what I wanna invite you to is to interrupt that pattern and move differently. We get into these patterns with our bodies and that's actually what contributes to creating the stiffness in particular areas of your body and of locking in energy in particular areas of your body. And when you bring that stiffness into movement, you are literally interrupting the pattern that you have created. And that is definitely part of unlocking the feminine genius that is your body. These magnificent magnificent creatures that we have chosen to create with in this reality have so much that they want to give to you, so much that they want to contribute to your life, but you've got to include your body. And when you move your body, whatever workout movement that is for you, and even if it's not a workout, even if you just move for fun, really getting present with your body and the way that your body would like to move. And again, those places that are stiff, really bringing movement into those areas. I was recently at an event um, and I was, I was watching, <laughs> I was watching one of the hosts of this event and I was watching her move through the room and move through just her duties as a host. And I was very, I was very surprised. She seemed to be very happy and jovial right? She was like super excited and happy and like had all of this energy, but a lot of the energy was just from here up. And as I watched her and she was wearing this gorgeous dress, gorgeous dress. She, oh my God, she's so freaking beautiful. But when I watched her entire body, right? If I wasn't just looking at her from the head up, she was totally stiff and locked up from the neck down. Even her arms moved with stiffness. And I thought, man, I wonder how many people, it's actually part of what inspired this particular topic. I wonder how many people in the world aren't really tuning into the entirety of their body below the neck, you know, how do your shoulders move when you're walk? How do your hips move when you're walk? Are you allowing them to move? Are you walking, you know, with your, with your shoulders straight up or are you hunching down? Are you allowing your, your buttocks and your hips to move? And what does that create for the rest of your body? And that actually brings me to my next tip, I guess, on unlocking the feminine genius from your body is to really allow the curves of your body to shine. Curves, my friends, are one of the gifts of having a female body. Now, if you're thinking, I don't have curves, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> stop it. We all have curves. The curve of your breasts on your chest the curve of your butt up between your lower back and your thighs, the curves on the sides of your body. What would it be like to unleash those curves so that when you are walking, your entire body is walking and moving with you? Now, remember I said that male bodies have their own genius right? And females, female bodies have their own genius. Male bodies don't have curves the way that female bodies have curves. So what is this gift of curves that we are not allowing ourselves to embody and to have? I know myself, haha, myself, like I grew up 
very, I, I literally had like a little boy body for a really long time. Um, I, in my family, I wasn't exactly allowed to embody my body um, or my beauty. If you guys have been on my show, you've, you've heard me talk about this, or if you've taken any of my classes, you've heard me talk about this. So the body that I created was very flat, um, very sort of pencil-like. Uh, I didn't have curves in any area, literally. Um, and I just had this very sort of don't look at me kind of body. And the more that I have been able to step into choosing more consciousness, being myself, letting go of projections, letting go of other people's judgments, allowing myself to truly embody this, this female body that I've come to be here with, the more my body has shifted and changed to be more curvaceous. And I, I love it. I love it. My body loves it. So what is the gift of your curves that you could be receiving that if you allowed yourself to receive it would unleash and unlock the genius of your body? And anything that doesn't allow you to have that, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine, shorts, boys and guns. For those of you who are not familiar with what that is that I just did, that was the access consciousness clearing statement. And basically you ask a question and an energy comes up and we use the clearing statement to clear all of the energy that is no longer you know, serving us. And if you want more information about that, you can go to theclearingstatement.com. But anyway, so curves, what I've learned in, in, in playing with, you know, the tools of S factor and getting back into the pole dancing studio and deep diving into this body of work, um, is that curves and movement are one of the geniuses of our female bodies. And I had never really thought of it that way. You know, if you've ever been in a class with Gary Douglas, who's the creator of Access Consciousness, he talks a lot about, um, you know, women having the sort of golden tools, our breasts and our vagina, like we could get anything out of anyone if we used these assets that we have with our body. And I didn't really resonate with what he was saying at the time. I was like, okay, whatever. But when I was in the studio and learning with Sheila Kelly, who is, who is the creator of, of this S factor pole dancing movement. And she talked about your curves being a gift of your body and allowing yourself to enjoy your curves for you, that really created something really different for me and for my body. So please, would you be willing to unleash, unlock, release the gift of your curves? And anything that doesn't allow that, can you destroy and uncreate it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. Now, there's, this, there's a really interesting particular energy that comes up um, when, when I talk about unleashing your curves out into the world and allowing yourself to embody your curves and allowing yourself to move through the world in that way. And I was kind of tapping into this a little bit earlier when I was playing with with this show and, and what wanted to be played with during our time together. And what came up, um, another thing, okay, this is, we're now heading into our third tool for unlocking and unleashing your feminine body. And that is to look at everything that you have defined about being a woman and having a female body. Definition by definition alone is a limitation. Everything that you have defined about anything really creates a limitation in your world. So when I ask that question, what have you defined about being a woman that is actually locking up your body? Everything that brings up, can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nine, shorts, boys, and shorts, boys, and beyonds. For example, for me, um, I'm Puerto Rican and Cuban, in case you guys didn't know that. And in my family and in my culture, being a woman meant that you were barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen. For me, uh, 
not anymore, obviously, but at, you know, many years ago, being a woman meant that you were supposed to support your husband all of the time and that you are to care for your family all of the time. That really didn't leave any room for me uh, and for the things that I came here to create in the world and for the things that bring me joy and pleasure. For, for my culture, being a woman meant that you gave all of you for your family and for your husband. So what have you defined as being a woman that is actually keeping you from the genius of having a feminine body? And everything that brings up, can we destroy it and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. What does being a woman mean to you? Everything that brings up, can we destroy it and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. What does being a woman mean to you? Everything that is, will you destroy it and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. There's a really interesting shift um, that is being created right now. And I just want to kind of put it out there. How do I put this into words? There is an underlying current of sort of pitting the masculine and the feminine men and women against each other. And that is not where we're headed with these particular clearings. Um, communion includes everyone and everything. Consciousness includes everyone and everything. And just because we are choosing to uh, pay some attention here to our feminine bodies and the genius of our feminine bodies, that does not automatically um, equate shitting on masculine bodies and men. <laughs> so everything that brings up, can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. Then, because there's an energy too, like when I talk about um, my culture and and being Latin, Puerto Rican, Cuban, you know, and th th that was a deep, deep energy in my culture as well. Is like the the sort of hatred between men and women. You know, it took me a long time to realize that when I looked at my mom and dad, like my mom hated men and my dad hated women. And so what that created was total insanity, total insanity. And so when I ask, what does being a woman mean to you? Sometimes there's an energy that comes up around, oh, but men have done this and this to me and we live in this patriarchal society and blah, 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 blah. Everything that is, can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Anywhere you have made yourself a victim because you have a female body and you're a woman, everything that that is, can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. The invitation here is to unlock the genius of your feminine body so that you can be an invitation in the world for everyone. There are gifts that you have and that you be just because you have a feminine body. There are gifts that men have and men be just because they have male bodies. And what would it be like if we came out of this story of patriarchy that we keep reinforcing and telling ourselves? What if we let that go? What if we let that go? And what if we stepped into total communion with all bodies and all beings? Everything that brings up and anything that doesn't allow that, can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pod, all nine, shorts, boys, and beyonds. There is a gift that you 
can be in the world. And being that gift includes letting go of all anger, resentment, judgment, letting go of those past stories, letting go of everything that you've locked into your body so that we can all have more, so that we can all be more in the world. How does it get any better than that? If anyone has any questions, you are welcome to ask them now. If you are listening to this in the future and you would like to join me live, you can do so by registering at consciousness.sexy. How does it get any better? Any questions about anything that I have said so far? To review before we say goodbye, the three tips to unlocking the feminine wisdom of your feminine body are to move your body, move your body however she desires, but I'm inviting those parts of your body that aren't moving to move, to move in a way that interrupts the patterns that you have locked in. The second uh, tip that we went over today was unleashing your curves into the world. Um, joy, pleasure with your feminine body, enjoying the curvaceousness of your body, showing your curves, unleashing that, allowing your hips to move when you walk, allowing your shoulders to move when you walk. And when you start moving your body and interrupting those body patterns, then all of these parts of your body that aren't moving are gonna start moving. <laughs> and how much fun can you have with that? And then last but not least, clearing all of your definitions around what it means to have a female body and what it means to be a woman. So I encourage you to listen to this uh, over and over again <laughs> and grab some of those clearings that we went through. Um, how does it get any better? I guess there are no questions. You guys have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here again. If you want to join me live next time, you can register at consciousness.sexy. If you want to dive deeper into this topic, I have a new program coming up starting at the end of this month, and you can get information at pattyalfonso.sexy slash body love club. I adore you all. Thank you for being here, and I will see you next week. Bye, everyone. Thank you. See you next time.